the way that I draw it when I draw it as a stick figure of a guy holding a suitcase and the guy having the suitcase on the ground and the one who's holding the suitcase is shame and the guilt is the, the suitcase is on the ground. And the difference is the suitcase is the bad thing I've done or the, the thing that I think is the bad thing I've done or the bad thing that's happened to me. Mm-hmm. And shame says the whole thing is circled and I am bad or I am not okay. Whereas guilt says um, it's separate from me. The suitcase is on the ground. It's just the suitcase is the thing that I'm not proud of or is the bad thing, you know, is there such a thing as good and bad? That's another podcast, but um, the the thing, the suitcase is the the not okay thing. Whereas shame says I'm bad, I'm unlovable, and the problem with shame is that at the 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 core of it, or why it's so detrimental, is um, we call it the master emotion. A lot of people in mental health call it the master emotion because it's so powerful. Mm-hmm. And um, the thing that is so brutal about it is it makes us believe we're incapable of change. Mm-hmm. So if shame makes you believe that you're incapable of change, usually the way that shame is used is to coerce, manipulate, push people into change. Parents use it when they're parenting, partners use it in relationships, bosses use it with their staff, and they don't realize that oh, when you shame someone of like, come on, what's wrong with you? Um, why would you do that? That kind of tone is undermining exactly what you're trying not to do. You're trying to get the person to change or to stop to doing something. But when you shame someone, it makes them think they're incapable of change because it makes them think I'm bad, not the behavior or the thing I did was bad. Does that make, is that what the one you were thinking of? It's totally the one I was thinking of. And I, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't remember the, uh, the linguistics of it. I just remembered the suitcase. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I remember the circling suitcase. I'm like, fuck, that's exactly how I feel. I can't seem to separate this memory from, ah, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but oh, well, we're only human. I'm 21st century now to that was a bad memory. Therefore, like I'm, I suck, you know, I just kind of feel like a weird person for that and all that. So mm-hmm. that was a really, really eye opening moment for me. And, um, it, it, it kind of makes me wonder how then some people develop shame aside from what you just said, obviously of, you know, other people shaming them um, and how people are able to just leave it in the past um, and, and, uh, and recognize it as something that they perhaps felt guilty about before, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect them in the present. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.